Okay, uh, so now we're going to see how to configure the ports first and foremost so then we can get an idea on how to write our peripheral driver. So we're going to start a new project, but first and foremost you do want to have your data sheet open, okay, because we will be going back and forth to this. Thank So let's start a new project and I went over how to do this in a different video so I'm not gonna restate any of that here just call it GPIO driver <clears throat> I'm gonna look for our chip STM32 F103C8 here it is gonna get the necessary files the startup file and the CMS's core okay, okay. I'm gonna pre-compile this even though it won't really build but I'll be able to get some dependencies here okay I'm gonna rename this for this is just personal preference I'm going to right click here on target add group which gives me another folder rename that to um, user libraries or drivers whatever here I'm going to add a new item to the group on under user application C file this is going to be where my main file is going to be I'm going to call it main but you can call it anything you want it doesn't have to be called main just because the main um, function is going to be there. Okay, so I have a main.c. I'm going to include this header right there, which is the stm32f10x.h. Um, now I can make my main. Remember to add some empty spaces after this, otherwise, you'll get a warning going to build the target zero error zero warnings okay now I'm going to configure my programmer the ST link go to debug ST link settings um, what has this okay no that's fine trace change this to 8 because the crystal is at least on my specific board is 8 change this to 1 because it's 64 not 128 yeah, it's that erase reset and run okay I'm gonna change my C to C99 because I like it change this to 8 also output page user C linker don't need none of that um, yep and we're good to go now if I plug in my programmer I should be able to compile and upload just without a problem yep so that works alright so let's see um, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to initialize the clock for the um, it's kinda hard to talk and type at the same time initialize the clock for the port that we're using and we're gonna be using port C because on port C on this specific board there's an LED on pin 13 so we're basically gonna do the whole LED blink hello world thing just to get uh, just to learn how to you know how to program the port so let's open up our uh, here our data sheet to enable the clock we're gonna go to this peripheral the, the RCC which is our registered clock control I guess or whatever um, we're going to go down to the RCC registers and I know that the GPIO pins are on the APB2 bus and how do I know this because it says it right here um, GPIO A, B, um, C, D, E, and F are on this bus right here the APB2 bus okay so that's how I know that and you really gotta go through your data sheet and just I guess learn basic things from it so we're we are at the RCC peripheral which is this handles basically the clock for all the um, peripherals on the microcontroller because when you first turn on the microcontroller everything is turned off 
for power consumption. It keeps the power consumption low. So that obviously, if if you don't if you're not using UWORD or I squared C or SPI, then you leave it off and you only turn on what you need. Okay. So we're gonna go to that APB2 enable register, which is right here, the APB2 peripheral clock enable register. Let's go down to look at it. Here it is, and we can see that um, IOPOC, which is input output port C enable is on bit 4 so we're going to shift a 4 into this and uh, this is bit 4 if you read down here bit 4 it says IO port C clock enable a 0 disables the clock a 1 enables it so we're going to shift a 1 into that uh, fourth bit of this uh, this register another thing is to, to know what you have to write in your code um, you're going to first start typing this, which is the name of your peripheral. Then you're going to dereference it, okay, um, which is going to be basically a dash and a right arrow. And then you're going to start typing this. And this is the actual register inside the peripheral, right? So it's going to look like this RCC, right? Dereference it, the, re um, the structure. And it's APB2 enable enable register right there. So the APB2 enable register we're gonna or a one into the fourth bit. We're gonna a one into the fourth bit, and that's it. That initialized the clock for the port, and it's it's good to go. So now we're gonna um, configure pin three on port C. Okay, and I call these things port, but in the data sheet they're called GPIOC. I'm just so used to calling them ports from the Arduino days. Um, so yeah, GPIOC. So just just renamed. It. What the hell did I do? Okay, so let's go to our back to the data sheet. Um, Let's go to our general uh, purpose, and we're gonna look for the control high register. Okay, so we're now at our GPIO um, peripheral. Again, here's the name of the peripheral. You're gonna replace the X with the port or the one that you're using. In our case, we're gonna be using C. So we're gonna so we're gonna start typing GPIO C. We're gonna dereference it and type in the name of the register which is the control high register again we're using the control high register because we're using pin 13 which is um, basically on the high register because if you recall the low register only handles pins uh, 0 through 7 okay so if we're going to use 13 we, get, we have to use this register and you see it starts from 8 all the way up to 15 and 13 is right here these two sections so for the mode section, um, for my example, uh, for no particular reason, really, I could have chosen any of these three, but um, I'm going to set it as an output mode at uh, 50 megahertz. Okay, so I'm going to have to shift a one into here and here. Okay, if I wanted it 10 megahertz, I would put a zero here and a one on on bit 20. And since I'm using output mode, then the output um, options are going to apply for the configuration bits which are 22 and 23 and all I'm going to do there is just shift uh, two zeros in there to set it as um, general purpose output okay um, so, okay so let's start doing that dun, dun, dun. so again like I like I said um, what we do is we, we start typing the name of the peripheral with change the X to the port that we're using in our case it's C dereference it and then type in the the name of the register so that looks something like this GPIO C right dereference it control high register which is CRH and then we're gonna or equals a I forgot what it was it was uh, a 1 1 this is the mode okay uh, one one into the mode, so it's gonna be a one in the twentieth bit and a one into the twenty-first bit. So we're going to do. Let me use double um double things here. One into the twentieth bit. One into the twenty-first bit. 
Okay, um, I just use these extra parentheses just to enclose the entire thing. Um, it doesn't really matter, just whatever. Okay, so that we configured it as um, this right now makes it into output at 50 megahertz, correct? Okay, so now let's go to the configuration bits. Configuration bits right here, since we're in output mode, these apply, and I want to shift two zeros into there. Okay, the way we're going to do this is we're going to add not it. So, GPIO C, oops, the reference control high register, and not, or not not, but complement. Um, 01 into the 22nd bit, or 01 into the 23rd bit. Um, Heroes, oops, not, not this, what is this, uh, general, oops, general, I'll put general purpose output, I know you gotta love my typing, okay, so, what is 22 and 23, let's check, yep, 22 and 23, we shifted the zeros there, and if you don't understand this right here, um, and, and the complements, and oring, etc., um, I, I think I'll write, um, a different uh, series on, on tutorials on basic um, things that you need for for programming embedded C because I took a course at school on C and they didn't cover any of really any bitwise math um, so yeah or you can just look online and look for courses on embedded C which will teach this stuff okay so now we've got our pin um, 13 as output and general purpose, uh, yeah, general purpose output at 50 megahertz. Now that's all there is to it as far as the configuration goes, and now we just have to actually use it. So let's just make a while loop, right? So we're gonna make a while loop, and let's just use a, um, I guess a, a, a um, one of those inappropriate for loops as a delay, correct? Uh, equals zero. Now, if you're using different versions of C, I I like to use the C C99 standard, and it allows me to define I in here. Otherwise, you would have to define it outside of the for loop because you you wouldn't be able to define it in there. But I like that. So, uh, function I equals zero. Um, well, I is less than equal to five million. Let's say. Okay, so that's a silly delay. Now to um, set and reset the pin, let's go back to our data sheet. We're going to use the bit set and reset register if you read the previous post and you should have an idea how this works. So since we're using pin 13, I want to first set the pin 13, right? Oops, I don't want to highlight everything. So first I want to set pin 13, so bit set 13, which corresponds with bit 13. So the, the mapping right there is one to one. So let's set it. So GPIO C, correct? Uh, dereference it. We are on the bit set reset register BSRR, and this one we don't have to use any um, bitwise operations. We just equals just straight up and shift to one into bit thirteen. Boom. Uh, wrong button. Set pin thirteen high. Okay. Now let's add another uh, retarded delay here. Okay, uh, my tabbing is off. <clears throat> okay, um, now we're going to reset it. Okay, now I don't even have to look at my data sheet. Okay, because I know that the set bit is 13, right, to set the pin high. And I know that the reset pin is my pin number, which is 13 plus 16. So, GPIOC. What the hell is wrong with my tabs? GPIO, oops, IOC, reference it, BSRR, equals A1, shifted into 13 plus 16. Oops, what the fuck? Excuse my language. Uh, let's just get rid of this one. So I'm shifting A1 into 
13, which is my pin number, which is also my set bit, which corresponds to my pin number. You know, those are mapped perfectly one to one. But these are not mapped one to one, but they are mapped in a way that is very predictable and always true, which is your pin number plus 16. So your set bit equals your pin number. Your reset bit is equal to your pin number plus 16, right? Reset the pin, in other words, drive it low, and we add another um, inappropriate delay. And I say inappropriate because these are not good uh, ways to. <clears throat> no, I don't need another one. I'm sorry, I have one at the top. These are not good ways to make um, to make delays. So if I were to, okay, last time I pressed, this is my second time doing this video, and I pressed F7, and it messed up my recording. So I'm going to have to just press the button, zero error, zero warnings, load this onto the board, and unfortunately, I don't have video, but it's blinking, okay? So trust me, this is good to go. So this is all that it really takes to, um, to, operate the the general purpose input output uh, peripheral which you know which is basically your pins and as you can see it's very easy and you just gotta use your data sheet and you know look at it and, and, and see what, what you need to set so I hope this helps and um, in the next video we're gonna actually start um, we're gonna make the files that we need to start writing our driver so we can take all of this and I'd have to worry about shifting this and shifting that because if you were to come a couple of months from now and just read this, it this is not really reader friendly. <laughs> so we're gonna make this look a lot nicer and much more, um, I guess, friendly. You can call it where it looks something like uh, like this, where you say GPIO mode output type general purpose speed port C. Uh, pin 13 and then finally enable see that's a lot more that makes sense to the eye you can read that okay I can see what I'm doing as opposed to um, this where you're just shifting bits into registers and you're like okay what the hell is this you know what am I doing here so that's that guys thank you for watching